Yo, 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 guys out there, this is Vasily Garage. So what we're going to do today, a AP1 cluster swap on my 93 GSI. And we got a cluster. If you haven't heard the story of how I got this cluster, you need to check out my YouTube channel and check out the full bit of how I got this cluster. It's pretty awesome. So we got a uh, AP1 cluster right here. And I got two bezels here. I got a common fiber bezel. And I got a, uh, like a plastic, which is a little bit thicker. Okay. Also want to give a shout out to Wireworks for the awesome uh, cluster conversion that you can swap it from uh, from your uh, harness to the cluster. And I recently purchased a uh, converter from K-Tune for the conversion harness, which you bolts up right there, which should be here today or tomorrow. So pretty much that's all we need. So we're gonna do the swap on this. So stay tuned and enjoy. All right guys, so now a lot of people, they break this trim right here factory trim so when you pull this out before you take it off you got to take your uh, your hazards which is this right here make sure you clip it from both sides nice and easy and then there's a screw right there as you can tell you see that right there see there's a screw right there anyways once you remove that screw it's got clips which I kind of wiggle this from side to side also don't forget, there's two screws at the top here, which I forgot to mention. There's one here, and there's one here. Don't forget these two, so there's three screws all together. Two on top, one there. And once you do that, you just pull it off. Now, when you pull it off, see there's a clip right there? And there's a clip right there, see that? Now you're gonna have to be careful when you pull those out so you don't mess it up. You don't break it. You can't just pull on it and pull on it and pull on it. Otherwise, you're just gonna break it. I've seen people breaking it right here. Plus, they're damaging their dashboard right here when they do that. And then you got four screws one, two, three, four, and it pretty much cluster it's free. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to wiggle this to get it off. So, let me show you right here real quick. Now, a lot of you guys have quick release steering wheels and stuff. I don't have one, so. Now, when you pull this out, you're gonna have to wiggle in and there. You set it up, as you can tell. And you see that you got the connections right there. You got one harness and two harness right there, and you just unplug those right there. And then pretty much your cluster is out. So one is right here. Make sure you take that. There you have it. Harness is out. This will be for sale soon. So, for some of you guys out there that doing the S2000 cluster, got the common fiber trim, but I had to make a custom bracket to bolt out to the factory holes where the factory um, cluster used to bolt up. And as you can tell right here, I fabbed this up. It's like a 90 and I got some screw and I got two screws right here. Got some Allen's right in there along the same here. And it's just kind of playing back and forth, twisting it to where actually this is gonna be flush with the factory uh, bezel. So that's kind of what I did right there. Nobody really posts any videos or anything about how to do that. So kind of get the idea right there. So, as you can tell, Got the common fiber piece right there and the air bracket, which I bolted up right there with two Allen's 90, and I put a, a bolt right here with the washer and a nut. That's a six millimeter bolt on both sides. And now he's got some wiring at the bottom. So, yep. Yo, guys. So I'm still waiting on the K2 converter, which will be here Monday. And, uh, but everything else is done. Uh, check out this fitment on this cluster right here. I mean, I mean, look how 
flush that is right there all the way around I haven't seen any of them that they're tight they're close you know you see how thing that looks right there and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you guys and show you how this thing oh snap there's no reason to turn it on because some things don't work like my gas won't work in my RPM so till I get that thing all hooked up but you can kind of see my lights work, my signals work, my e-brake works, the only battery works. So um, once I get that done, it's uh, just plug and play, pretty much done. So if you like this video, subscribe, share, and give me a thumbs up, and uh, just uh, keep waiting for the next upload. Peace. He's greater than I.